Hello everyone, Michelangelo Mortolero with Mortolero Law. Today I have a story uh, that happened to a client of mine several years ago, but I think it is powerful enough that it warrants uh, the telling of the story. And this is a story on procrastination, uh, specifically on estate planning. As we get older, everybody knows that I, I should have a power of attorney, I should have a healthcare surrogate, I should at least have a last will and testament, if not a trust. But no one wants to talk about these things and no one wants to sit down and, and face the, the conversation of our own mortality. And then, let's be honest, no one wants to show up at an attorney's office and write a check. So for that reason, a lot of people just decide to kind of kick the can down the road through life. And what I hear over and over again is, well, you know, I'll do it later. I'll do it when I get, you know, old. Well, old is a moving target. If you ask a 15 year old what is old, they'll probably tell you like 30 is ancient. And as we get older, we keep kind of pushing that down the road because we never want to admit that we're getting older. So today's story is a story of a gentleman whose name is Skip. And uh, the story of Skip is that uh, he was a, a widowed man. He had one daughter in her, she was in her late 50s, early 60s. He was in his 80s. And I went to his house, we had the consultation, and he said, listen, I, you know, my daughter's my only beneficiary, and um, Skip had about $300,000 in total assets. Um, so it, it's a, a good round number, and it's a number that he didn't, he worked his whole life for, and he didn't want to see squandered. And Skip tells me his daughter is terrible with money. She's always been a spendthrift, and he, he literally told me, if I die on a Tuesday and you hand my daughter a check for $300,000, by Thursday, she will be broke. She'll buy motorcycles and RVs and guitars, and she's going to go through it. And so I worked with Skip on a really comprehensive plan that would allow his daughter to receive monthly income for life and guarantee that even though on the first of every month when she got her check, she might waste it immediately, but Skip had the peace of mind knowing that come the first of next month, his daughter's getting another check. And she could use that on her living expenses, on her automobile or cell phone, whatever it is. Skip loved the plan. And so he said, let, let's, you know, let me think about it. I'll get back with you. And so that's the way a lot of these things go. So I followed up with Skip a couple of more times and, and there was always an excuse. I have family coming into town. I'll do it when they leave. It's the holidays. I'll do it after the holidays. And so finally, uh, you know, I gave up on Skip. Uh, fast forward about two years, I get a call, and of course, Murphy's Law, it is on July 3rd, uh, so holiday coming up, and it was over a weekend. And Skip calls me in a panic, and he says, I'm in ICU, I'm in the hospital, and they're telling me that I may not live through the weekend. Um, can you do this trust thing that we talked about a few years ago? Um, all needs to be done by Monday. And of course, my holiday weekend, uh, became dedicated to Skip's emergency. I got everything done. I was at the hospital on Sunday uh, with witnesses and notary. We got it all done. And so Skip was happy. What we failed to appreciate is that Skip forgot to tell me about some of his assets. So even though we had time to fund the trust with some of his assets, in the rush of trying to get this done last minute, Skip forgot about a few things. So what happens? Of course, Skip does pass away shortly after that weekend. And then we come to find out that there's a safe deposit box and there are some stocks and bonds that Skip had forgot about. And so it ended up that a decent percentage of Skip's uh, entire uh, you know, financial picture was now having to go through probate. And so that took time, cost money, and Skip didn't actually get what he wanted and what he thought he was paying for because he waited to the last minute. So I encourage everyone out there who is thinking about, you know, I know I need to get this done. I have a spendthrift as a child. You may have a special needs beneficiary. You have a child or, or a beneficiary that is on public benefits that may not be able to get an inheritance from you outright without messing up their public benefits. You can't wait on these things. It's so important that you nail these things down, that you do them thoroughly and accurately and completely so that you don't have to worry about being literally on your deathbed and trying to put together this plan that should have taken weeks and weeks to compile and I had two days to do it. So we did the best we can. 
uh, in the moment, uh, the best we could in the moment, and, and unfortunately it fell short, um, not because of anything that we did, but because we just didn't have the time that was necessary to properly get the plan in place, double check our work, and make sure everything was the way that Skip wanted it. So the moral of today's story is don't be a Skip. And if you are thinking about estate planning, it's probably been on your mind for a number of years, don't procrastinate. Come in and see us. It's always a free consultation. We can do in-person meetings in the office or in your home. We can do video calls via uh, Zoom, and we can do phone calls. So there's no reason, even uh, if you are, are homebound, there's no reason not to have the conversation. There's never a fee for our consultations. We'll lay out a plan start to finish, and you only owe us money if you like what we can produce for you and you see a value in what we're doing to help uh, protect your family. So I hope this was helpful for you. Give us a call and visit us online at www.mortolerolaw.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.